Hi everybody, welcome back to your channel. Hey my lovely Toros, how you doing? This is your girl in about today. And first of all, I'd like to say welcome to your channel. If you're already a Toro, thank you for rocking with me since the beginning. I appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button below. Don't forget as well to hit that bell so you know what's up. And please like, comment and share this video so other people can enjoy it. So this video will be about the recap or the review of the latest episode of Marriage Hip Hop Bootcamp Season 17, Episode 10, the season finale. Okay, let's get down to it. So this episode was about the lie detector test and also the ring ceremony. So in the first part, we got the result of the lie detector test. And then afterwards, um, that will somehow influence the decision amongst other things, amongst the whole process to decide whether they're going to stay together or whether they're going to split. So remember last week we had our, our predictions where I was more or less, I was feeling, feeling right and wrong about the predictions so let's just get to it now so for the result who passed and who failed right so the people who failed the test were Tyree, Devon and we don't know about Vado because he never opened his envelope child so the people who passed were Phaedra, Medina, Shonda and Willie. Willie also was given an envelope to check out um, Shonda's response later but I don't think he ever opened it and I don't think they were both bothered about it. I could be wrong, so just correct me if I am. So those are the people that passed and failed. It was interesting to see how uh, even though we picked it up before throughout the, throughout the, the season and seen Tyree on TV shows and from a ex-relationship that she was... Um, I won't say comfortable, but she was kind of getting used to, to being in abusive relationships. I don't know if that's a pattern for victims. I'm not a specialist. But that's what we've been seeing. And um, it was actually picked up on the lie detector test that she's, she finds it normal to be in this kind of relationship. She tried to deny it to Jadlin Toller, but hey, the lie detectors don't lie, right? So afterwards, they were all getting ready for the celebration for the ring uh, ring ceremony afterwards so let's find out who stayed together and who didn't so the people who stayed together were um willie and taylor decided to stay together after being married after 15 years and after all this cheating <sighs> i don't know how she does it but we talked about shonda already before that's her choice if she likes it i love it so they're staying together and they're saying that they managed to get through it this time and they actually feel stronger, you know, all the yada yada yada. And then we have Fedra and Medina. Now Fedra and Medina decided to split and to remain as friends, which really didn't surprise me because from the beginning I've been saying they were not giving me couple vibes. They were giving me like friends vibes and then... It is what it is. That's probably why maybe Fedor didn't want to sleep with him or have sexual interactions with him because she probably wasn't feeling him on that level. So, oh well, ends well. And I can't say she's... She, maybe she dodged the bullet with all the allegations that came out about him with his ex closure Jordan. I guess time would tell. But that one, but they're not together like that, like that. They're just friends. Okay, so Aisley and Devon. <coughs> Interesting story. Not like I care, but uh, it's on the show, so we gotta talk about it. So, Esley and Devon, um, at first she was upset with him for failing the lie detector test, which meant he's a cloud chaser. But then she kind of made some kind of reasoning in her head that if he wants to be a cloud chaser and depend on her, she might as well cash on it. So, be his manager. So, she came up with a management contract for him that if he signs it, then at least she'd be okay that she. She won't feel like she's being used. Devon agreed to it. It was like, yeah, why not? He signed it without even reading it. This boy just signed his life away without even reading it. Apparently, she'll be getting 30% of everything that he does. I don't know for how long. Was it for the next six years or so? Six or seven years? Something like that. But he didn't even read it. He just signed away and then whatever. I don't know. Is this contract legally binding? Like... I'm not a lawyer when it comes to contact, so 
real lawyers and real solicitors let me know do they actually really sign his life away just like that but okay if he likes it again me i love it because he didn't seem to be bothered so it is what it is right okay so they're still together and i think we find out later that they actually if you check the news now if you follow them on the instagram whatever they they have a baby together so they made it tiring right Tyree came out with a full speech about um, self-love and woman empowerment and getting out of abusive relationship. Um, she could be telling the truth, but on my part, it didn't feel genuine. It didn't feel genuine because of the whole history on, um, we've seen on reality TV shows and we also have wind of her in past relationships. If that is really how she feels, kudos to her, but it didn't, me it didn't move me it didn't touch me because it, i felt like it was too little too late and i also felt like if that wasn't on tv i didn't think she would have done it like if she wasn't in this show so that's my opinion i'm not buying that apology all right just like i'm not buying Beto's act it didn't feel sincere when you apologize any when she was talking to him and trying to explain why she's choosing self-love and why she's giving herself that ring instead of getting back together with him and i'm like he crazy he was actually expecting her to get back with him after what happened like just bonkers right anyway so vader was having an attitude he was smirking he was like what you're gonna leave me and like what you brought me up here for this <sighs> clearly he was not remorseful for him he was like well he even said to dr ish like i'm getting all these for a little for a mistake a little mistake one thing that i did uh yeah that one thing was kind of serious it was a massive 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 mess up so yeah it's kind of serious like to just put your hands on a woman trying to choke her on national tv yeah it's not a small thing i'm sorry both of them should have just kept their hands to themselves but uh, he a man, so he can't do that to any woman whatsoever, period. Period. Okay, so that's how the whole season ended. Overall, it ended on a high. People that were more or less expected to stay together, stay together, which was Shauna and Willie, the only married couple on the show, although it's called Marriage Boot Camp Hip Hop Edition. But the rest, they are married, just in relationships, all right? Okay, so it is what it is. Um, I did really enjoy this season because I thought, um it was really hyped up they really hyped us up about the fight between Ezali and shonda and it turned out it was like it wasn't that big of a deal so um, i know they fought like once or twice they had a big argument and then a massive brawl like a fight but it wasn't really about what we thought it was going to be and they apologized pretty quickly and just moved on pretty quickly. But they kind of made the whole season about it. But then again, that's what trailers do. And there was a whole heart to call about it. So anyway, it is what it is. The end of the show. So we're going to see next year who they're going to bring. So I guess next time they bring people, they're actually going to be married. You know, that's the name of the show. Okay. So let me know what you think about um, this last episode. Let me know um, what you think as well about this video. Um who would you think the next cast will be i have no idea maybe i'll think about it so once again don't forget to subscribe hit that bell as well hit the like button share this video so other people can appreciate it until next time i love you turtles okay bye